And now, A&E takes a look at the new motion picture, Troop Beverly Hills. Phyllis Neffler's life was a symphony of spending. This one. Out. I'll take the rest. I started my new meaningful life today, and I bought a whole new meaningful wardrobe to go with it. Until her husband stopped the music. You never give me an ounce of credit for anything I do. That's because you never do anything! Well, then I guess I'm going to do something right now. Approve! Mom's going to be our new troop leader. Who are you? Oh, uh, Phyllis Neffler. Troop Beverly Hills. Now, she's changing her style. Well, girls, are you ready to rough it? From Rodeo Drive. I can't let you take the girls out there alone. Why not? Because you get lost in your walk-in closet. The cookie drives. That jamboree thing sounds fabulous. Mm. My troop is definitely going. What is a jamboree? From room service. Just what you call roughing it. One bathroom for nine people? Yes. To public service. Today I am here to demonstrate for you CPR. Lie down and open your mouth. Last time I did this, I got more than a patch for it. And from high society. <laughs> Do you like people to call you dictator or just dick? To high adventure. Ah! I'm sure it's very nice to know how to live in the forest and eat bark. You can prance these little princesses through Beverly Hills all you want. Hi. But you will never really be a real wilderness girl. We'll be fine. We're through Beverly Hills. Shelley Long. What an adventure. Isn't nature fabulous, girl? <laughs> Troop Beverly Hills. She's not. A babe in the woods. Can we just quit now? Not until we sing Kumbaya. Welcome to the richest city in the world, Beverly Hills. The home to beautiful people and exclusive shops. But everything's not perfect in Beverly Hills. The wilderness girls need a new troop leader. Who are you? Uh, Phyllis Neffler. Troop Beverly Hills. Shelley Long stars in Troop Beverly Hills, a funny and heartwarming look at the world of Phyllis Neffler, wife, mother, and troop leader. Phyllis Neffler is her own kind of woman, and she is sort of old-fashioned in that sense. I don't think there have been many characters around that I can recall that are so openly female and so openly enjoying being a female. She loves shopping. How much? 5600 you know, it's missing a bead. It is? I can let you have 5,000. Okay. <laughs> she loves cooking. Voila. Fondue al fresco. She loves her house. Hi ho. Ohio. Hey, your hat is fabulous, Mrs. Neffler. Thank you. So is yours. Hey, thanks, eh? She loves her daughter. And my lovely daughter, Hannah. I'm proud to present the best daughter patch. Mom. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay. To this total stranger, Hannah Neffler, I'm proud to present the sushi appreciation patch and the gardening with glamour patch. She loves her husband even though uh, she and he are at odds at present time. What are you doing here? Before we were separated, you were never around. You're supposed to be in the guest house. Everything north of the lawn jockey is mine. Drew Beverly Hills is the baby and brainchild of producer Ava Freeze. It came about because I had had experience as a Beverly Hills Girl Scout leader for several years, and a lot of funny things happened, and, and a lot of funnier things could have happened. So I was talking to my husband, Chuck Freeze. I believe it was he who said to me, you know, that could be a great movie. We should do that. May I speak with Velda Plender, please? Oh. Well, will you take a message, please? Will you tell her that troop leader Neffler called and her recommendation for a campsite was totally unsuitable? There were no outlets, and, and there was dirt and bugs, and, and it rains there. The incongruity of taking Shelley Long's character and this troop of privileged, maybe even spoiled girls, uh, and putting them into this rugged, fish-out-of-water environment uh, is kind of the fun of the movie. Oh, good. Oh, watch the arms. Oh. oh. Mom? Yeah? I think we'll be back before winter. It's only an overnight camp out. In the wilderness of life, we can never be too prepared. 
Well, girls, are you ready to rough it? Having fun? This is next, Ma. We're past the fire line, and you shouldn't be smoked. It's bad for you. And it disguises nervous conditions, which you should deal with in other ways. Smokey the Bear says only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey the Bear isn't going through a terribly messy divorce. What an adventure! Isn't nature fabulous, girls? The thorn in Phyllis Neffler's side is fellow leader Zelda Flendor, played by former Hill Street Blues star Betty Thomas. Same old Betty Thomas, just different uniform, <laughs> basically. Hopefully a couple more laughs and a little bit bigger. And I don't mean size, I don't mean height or weight. Our goal is simple. Take young, vulnerable girls and turn them into strong, self-sufficient young women. And to attain that goal, the girls must earn achievement patches, sell cookies, and attend the annual jamboree, which is a grueling test. Are you drying your nails, or do you have a question? <laughs> You know, about the cookies, I know it's customary in order to raise funds to sell cookies door to door, and that's adorable, but wouldn't it save time and a little shoe leather if we just had a star-studded telethon? Huh? Who are you? Johnny could host or Merv. Be fabulous. Who are you? Oh, uh, Phyllis Neffler, Troop Beverly Hills. Neffler, Cappuccino, you have disrupted my meetings with your stupid idiotic questions. You have taken the sacred uniform and turned it into a little cocktail frock. And you took these children from a wholesome camping environment and you brought them here to this little den of iniquity. Adios, Neffler. I say, Herman. Annie Herman, the character I'm playing, is like every other character I've played. It's very seldom that I'm uh, cast as an aggressive or sexy woman. I'm often cast as someone shy and timid and mousy, a word I don't appreciate, but I would have to say it's been used. Mrs. Neffler, meet Cinderella. Oh, Annie, you look fabulous. How did this happen? Well, Hannah did my makeup and Rosa raided your closet. You really like it? Excuse me, Chief. Oh. Hi. I'd like you to meet Annie Herman. Annie Herman. Boy, oi, oi. Uh, Want to wrestle? Uh, are you related to Pee Wee? The film also provides Shelley Long with the opportunity to wear an array of outfits by award-winning designer Theodora Van Runkel. My trip and I were busy describing the fall fashions to the blind. One man said he could actually feel color. It's inspirational. Oh, come on, Phyllis. What is this? It's a Van Runkel. Isn't it fabulous? Stunning. Uh, the way I'm dressing Shelley for this picture is for her madness and, you know, anti-mame qualities. Her uh, joie de vivre. Her enthusiasm about beauty. Could I dress like Phyllis does? No. No, I couldn't. Could I walk with a bird on my shoulder for an evening? No, I don't think I could. But for a movie and for this character and for what we were doing and all the circumstances of the story, yes, absolutely. My pleasure. I think the film is very funny and uh, we have some very silly, raucous kinds of moments. I think there are many moments of very real human behavior that are going to tickle people's funny bones. And I think it's a pretty sure bet that they're going to have a good time.